Hello and welcome to Saurabh Mishra Notes. In this video, I am going to talk about how to bind drop-down list using Angular JS. As you know, you can open any form. Now, drop-down list is very common. This is the age of Angular JS. So here is the demo, and you can see here there is a drop-down list where you can see the list of states so this is the simple form where I create this drop down list with the use of AngularJS so here I used a real life example so here I am going to use AngularJS, Web API and Entity Framework and real life databases You can see in front of me currently there is a Visual Studio screen is open and here I create only one web API uh, project is there and what I am going to do first step I am going to create one ADO.NET entity model and now you can see this is our database so this is my school database where I have only one state master class you can see here we have two fields state ID and state name and you can see the list of states and in this video later on we are going to bind this list into a drop-down list with the use of AngularJS and Web API so for this what I'm going to do I'm going to create a new ADO.NET entity model so which I'm going to create in DB context folder so let's create a new ADO.NET entity model. So I'm going to click on add and now I'm going to click on ADO.NET entity model and here I'm going to give my entity name. And this is my wizard. So I am going to click on next and here I am going to click a new connection because I am going to create a new connection with my database. And here I am selecting my database and my test connection is succeeded. Here you can see school entities. So I am going to change the name. Now next. So in this database we have already some tables. But in this demo, I am going to only select a state master because this is the only table required in this demo. So this is our model is a school model and that's it. So now you can see our this table model is created and uh, this is the first uh, table which I connected with entity and now what is my next step I am going to create a new controller and in this controller I am going to create the object but first we, are, we will go to the this is our school entity and First, we are going to see in the web config. You can see here we have a school entity, and this is school entity which we created in the through the wizard. So this is the name, and with this name we will create an object into our controller. So now I am going to create a new controller action method. So first we will add a new web API controller. So 
this is the empty api controller and here i want to give a name as state controller so you can see this is the api controller and now i am going to write a method as get state what is the use of get states? This get state method will gives me the collection of states which you see on the database. So this is my method get states. And now what I am going to do? I am going to create an object of my school entities. writing school entities and I am adding my namespace can see my object is created now what I am going to do I am going to create a new variable with the use of where keyword and in this variable I am going to store collection of states so this is my object and this is my table name and this is to list what this lambda expression gives me this lambda expression gives me the list of states into the states variable so this is the list kind of variable now and now what I am going to do I am going to return this states return ok and in the bracket I am passing this states So what is the use of this return ok this will gives me at the time of when I am going to consume this web API into my angular collection. So let's time to create a new instance of this project and we want to test this web API this web API is working proper or not. So now what I am going to do, I am going to pass my URL for my web API which is API state, state is my controller and get states my method. So you can see we are getting the list of all the states by state ID and state name. In our database we have 5 collections of database, uh, 5 collections of states sorry and uh, here also we are getting this. API are going to consume this web API into my angular code for this what I am going to do I am going to create a new scripting file it's a JavaScript file so I am going to add a new JavaScript file but first I have to stop this and I have to add a new JavaScript file putting here name as script.js and add this file now I'm going to write a uh, angular code here so this angular code will send a request and getting the response so you can see we have uh, my module as a module and here I am putting a new controller and here we have two 
properties parameters like dollar scope and dollar http what is the use of this dollar scope so dollar scope is used for creating the variables into the angular and dollar http why i am using because here we are going to use get method so what is the use of this get method this once we pass the parameter into the get method this get method will send a request and in the response time this comes into the get states and in the response we are getting into the states variable you can see there is a dollar scope dot states so once we will get the response so in the form of response dot data once states is coming from the return ok so it is stores into the states so that's why i return here dollar scope dot states so all the list of states are stored into your dollar scope dot states now what i am going to do i am going to create a new html file and i want to put this as index.html because we want to bind this angular code into our html so now i am writing ng app as my module because in my script.js i put my name as module name as my module you can see it created one controller so i put that controller into my body as ng controller is equal to my controller now the main thing which we have to do is we have to call a cdn of angular js so now in the head section i am going to call the cdn of angular js so this is my cdn for angular js and the next step what i am going to do i am adding the script.js which we have written for angular code so first we are going to call the angular min.js as a cdn and the next step what we are going to do we are going to call the script.js now we are adding the code of our drop down list and the form so you can see here name father's name address and this is the state so the main learning thing is coming here now because we are going to bind it so here we have a select and we have a option also but uh, you can see here we are getting result into the dollar scope dot states so this is the main memory here so where i used it i used it into the ng options so in the ng options you can see here is a states so this is your dollar scope dot states and now we are using here for so it's a kind of your for loop and what i am going to do st is my variable and this st is getting the collection and step by step he is create my value as a state id and text part he is putting the state name because you can see in the database we have two fields state id and state names and here also i am using ng model so what is the use of this ng model here because ng model will store our state id which user is selected from the drop down list that's why we are using putting here as a state id and you can see here option value select state so this is the default value once our page is going to be load so this is the value which is selected by default that's why we are putting here so our main property is ng option so let's take a quick result about this thing so i am going to create a new instance and now we comes into our browser now i'm passing the path so this is my form 
and you can see here we have states Delhi, Maharashtra and uh, we can just create this with the use of you can see here in the database also and we create this demo with the use of AngularJS JS and Web API so this is the real life example you, I hope you enjoy this and please put your comments if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions that's it